We've raced across the heavens in custom spaceships, cracked the code of the Mantis, but space is dangerous, and there's one thing we've yet to really focus on in our videos, weapons. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and today we're sharing some of our favorite insane weapons we think you need to know about. If there's one thing that kills me about games like Starfield, it's how simple bits of information can often go unnoticed for days, sometimes even weeks after launch. In the case of today's video, we're starting with a couple legacy learning moments, because quite frankly, it's pretty important we ground ourselves before going off the deep end. I've heard from a lot of you that you're running into ammo issues early on in the game. Been there, I feel your pain. I don't know who discovered this first, but kudos to them because little did most of us know, whenever you pick up a weapon from a corpse or lying around the world, you actually get the ammo that was in the weapon added to your reserves. At this point in the game, mass limitations are probably an issue, so you'll most likely want to drop the weapon shortly after, but hey, would you look at that, you've got some more ammo. It's a neat little trick that you can weave into your gameplay that'll hopefully prevent you from running dry. All right, now for the big one. To get straight to it, the fanciest guns in Starfield are often not the best, and in most cases, fall well short by comparison. Much like previous Bethesda games, there's a hierarchy of weapons, and up until now, it's been largely overlooked. During your explorations, you'll run across four different tiers of weapons. Regular weapons that have no specific prefix, calibrated weapons, which are a step up from their regular counterparts, and will always have the word calibrated somewhere in the name, refined weapons, which are a further step up from that, and will always have the word refined somewhere in the name, and finally, advanced weapons, which are considered the best baseline weapons in the game and will always have the word advanced somewhere in the name. If you do a direct comparison of these at a base level, you'll see that quality really does make a huge difference. And while unique weapons are fun to collect and even more fun to shoot, it's very likely a refined or advanced weapon will perform leagues better. I know it's a hard truth, one that I've had to grapple with too, but the results speak for themselves. That being said, I think most of us enjoy hunting down unique weapons, so Let's turn our attention there, make some moves, and track down guns that are actually fun to use. It's only fair we start with one of my favorite unique weapons in the game, the Revenant. If you've seen our How to Get OP Early video, then you're already a step ahead. But for those of you who haven't watched that video yet, this all comes down to joining and working with the Crimson Fleet. During the mission Eye of the Storm, you have one opportunity and one opportunity alone to pick up arguably one of the best weapons in the game, the Revenant. During the objective, locate the vault control center, you'll see the gun sitting there on the table just waiting to be picked up. This thing is a machine, featuring an extended magazine, lacerate which gives bullets a chance to inflict bleed, and titanium which reduces its overall mass to just .07. It's a great weapon that I highly recommend you hunt down, but be warned, once you pick it up, it'll be hard to use something else. Since we're already in deep with the Crimson Fleet, we might as well take this all the way. During the quest Legacy's End, you'll have to make a key decision. Do you stay loyal to the UC Sysdef, or do you go full-on pirate scumbag and embrace life as a member of the Crimson Fleet? Well, obviously, we're going to choose the life of crime, and while I'm sure this isn't the only way to obtain this next unique weapon, during this quest, you'll have an opportunity to kill Commander Ikande, and you should take your shot because once he's down, you can loot his unique weapon, the Unfair Advantage. This is a solid ballistics pistol that comes loaded with mods and the interesting radioactive perk, which gives the gun the unique ability to deal random bursts of radioactive damage, demoralizing the target. In my opinion, this is just one of those weapons that's nice to keep around, but may not be your go-to pick. Even still, assign it to your quick slots and don't think twice about using it when the situation calls for an unfair advantage. After hunting down those last two items, I think it's time we take a small break and pick up a weapon that's a lot easier to get, just because of how effective it is. By now, you've most likely seen or heard of this weapon, the Marksman's AA-99 rifle, which is, in my opinion, one of the better early game weapons you can get in Starfield. Getting this is rather simple, you just need to have enough credits to cover the cost. Head to New Atlantis on Jemison and head to the Residential District. There, you'll find Centurion Arsenal, the city's weapon supplier. Head inside, talk to the vendor, and you'll see the weapon in her inventory. Of course, this will cost you a few more credits, but man, is it worth it. The Marksman's AA-99 deals decent damage, has a ton of mods including a short scope and suppressor, and can really carry you through a healthy chunk of the game. Eventually, it'll get outshined by higher tier weapons, but it's still well worth picking up. The next weapon on our list is one that you can easily overlook. It's entirely possible that you can miss it completely unless you know exactly what you're doing. 
For starters, you'll need to have progressed the Ryujin questline on Neon a substantial amount. This entire quest chain revolves around subterfuge and corporate espionage, so if that's your thing, head to the Ryujin terminal to kickstart your life of corporate crime. At some point, you'll get a quest called Top Secret, which will eventually have you meet with a contact on Sidonia. During that conversation, you have the option to pay him off and skip that portion of the quest, or do him a small favor. Choose the favor because that road leads to our ultimate prize. That small favor is just a little murder, no big deal. Head over to Saturn and there you'll confront a bounty hunter. I personally chose to board her ship and kill her myself, but you might be able to blow her ship up too. Either way, once the job is done, you'll be rewarded with Ember, a fun laser pistol that can randomly ignite enemies, causing them to take ticking burning damage. At the end of the day, it's not a lights out weapon, but it's damn fun to use and is one of the more interesting unique weapons you can get early on in Starfield. I thought we'd end with something a little reminiscent of Fallout, a weapon of the old world, if you will, the Despondent Assassin. This is a quest reward obtained at the end of a quest chain on Aquila City that starts with defensive measures. Keep working through the quest until you're eventually rewarded with this legendary weapon. The gun itself is pretty spectacular, especially if you're looking for a solid long range option. The gun doesn't have a ton of mods, but it does come with three perks, Demoralizing, which gives your shots a small chance to demoralize a target, Hitman, which increases damage while aiming, and Anti-Personnel, perfect for dealing additional damage to humans. It's a solid option if you're in the market for a long ranged weapon, especially before you can get your hands on something like an advanced Beowulf. So there you have it, a little know-how about weapons and a few unique guns you can hunt down if you're looking to change up your gameplay and add a little variety to your arsenal. I do want to know though, which is your favorite gun to use? Let me know in the comment section down below. We know everyone's got their own style, so I'm curious which weapon do you think is best? Of course, you can also join us on Discord if you want to talk about new and upcoming games, interact with the Legacy team, and of course, enter our daily giveaways for your chance at awesome prizes. That link, as always, is below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.